Hello, people. Well, I'm sure you must have heard of this quote, a dream without a plan is just a wish. This means that if you really want to achieve your goal, you must have a practical, a realistic strategy for it. You must have a workable plan around it. You must have a well-defined step-by-step course of action towards it. Right? And that's why I'm here today to share with you a very effective game plan which you can adopt in these last few remaining days before your JE Advanced exam to accelerate your chances of getting a brilliant score in the paper. So let's get started. Point number one, play to your strengths. You know, there's a very famous saying by Bruce Lee. He said, I do not fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I do surely fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. J Advanced is not about quantity prep. Nobody's asking you to complete 100% of the syllabus. But it's literally about quality prep. Aapko kitne achche se, kitna deeply concept ke baare mein knowledge hai. That is what is tested in the J Advanced paper. So guys, right now with barely one week left and clock so fast ticking, your entire focus, your entire energy, your attention, your time should be dedicated towards multiple times revising and practicing those topics, those chapters, those concepts which you've already studied or with which you've already spent a lot of time. Yes, because that is exactly the area from where you will be able to harness maximum marks in the paper. So you have to have to invest time in becoming super duper confident at them. Point number two, learning anything new is a big no, no. You have just one week left guys. And in this short time, don't give your brain a shock by forcing it to absorb new concept or new result or new methodologies. Trust me, it will not get retained here. Instead, it will only end up making you more confused and more anxious. So what's the point? In fact, you know what? Anything that you study last minute, be it some formula that you've crammed or be it some result that you've memorized, it's not very reliable there are very less chances that you will be able to recollect it during the examination. Okay, so instead, you should focus on strengthening your known topics so that they get better internalized in your system. Got it? Point number three, this one is a game changer. Prepare flashcards or cheat sheets. You know what? I would strongly recommend you to create a bunch of, let's say, chapter-wise flashcards in which you have keywords written or let's say brief short sentences written. The idea is the moment you look at a keyword, you should be able to remember everything which is associated to it or linked to it. Flashcards are a brilliant and a very effective way for last minute revision. You can customize the flashcards by using mnemonics in it or certain diagrams or certain flowcharts. They help you to catch up with your studies anywhere, anytime because they are super duper convenient to work with. All right, time for point number four and this one is non-negotiable. You know it, it is mock tests. With just one week left, you have to sit for at least two to three full length mock tests. That too, in a strict time bound environment, replicating that of the J advanced exam. Also keep a similar kind of a notepad with you so that you can even track your rough work management. Now, you know, as a matter of fact, just taking mock tests is half work done. After each mock, you have to sit with it and analyze it thoroughly because that will not just make you aware of your mistakes and temperament issues, but it will also help you devise an overall personalized exam strategy, which will be your ultimate savior on the D-Day because that is exactly from where you'll get your real confidence. Point number five, ask your doubts. Minded people, J Advanced is too much of a mental game. And what sits at the driver's seat is how much confident you are about what you know. 
So if there's any kind of unsurety or uncertainty or any confusion, any doubt, any fear, any hesitation related to something academic or even unacademic, clarify it ASAP. Make a priority to clarify each of your doubts. Reach out to your peers, your friends, your guardians, mentors, teachers. You can even write to us on Telegram. We would be more than glad to help. Understand the idea is to not enter the exam with a clouded headspace. That is a big no-no because it will only and only hamper your performance. Point number six, plan a schedule. You have just a week left and therefore you cannot afford to waste time. Instead, you have to make sure that you make the most of the available time. And how can you do that? By making an extremely detailed schedule about how exactly are you going to divide the remaining days and the remaining time across subjects, across chapters, across topics. Don't forget to mention mini breaks in between as well because at the end of the day, the timetable or the schedule that works best is the one which is realistic and which brings out our most productive version. Make sure you follow this timetable very strictly guys because the pain of discipline is way sweeter than the pain of regret. Last but definitely not the least, Take care of your EQ. You know, I've seen tons of students who were very great at their academic knowledge, but still they were not able to perform well in the exam just because they were not able to control their nerves. They were not able to manage stress, anxiety, panic, pressure. It's really very, very sad to witness this as a teacher and I'm sure you don't want to land yourself in such a situation. That's why I would strongly suggest you to dedicate at least 10 to 15 minutes every single day for breathing exercises and positive self-talk. It will really help you become calmer. It will help you get that grip on your nerves. It will help you get that clarity of thoughts. And this is exactly what will boost your performance, your overall score drastically. On this note, it's me Bhumika signing off guys. Thank you so much. Take care and all the best.